i hope the lockdown is going well for you things are getting better i'm sure we will get through the coronavirus situation very soon till then let's just follow the rules and wait coming back to the topic so this book here right now this is probably the worst book that i have ever read in my life not probably it is actually the worst book that i have ever read in my life and this is probably going to be the i don't think i am ever going to read anything else which could be even worse you can see it's a very very thin book barely 60 pages and of that technically it is only 30 pages so the way it has been written is first the dialogues are written in hindi in english so basically if i say tum kya keh rahe ho so it's first written tum kya keh rahe ho in english and then the second line is what are you saying so basically every statement in this book so effectively it's a 30 page book there is hardly any sentence in this book which does not have a grammatical error as a matter of fact uh, there are a whole bunch of spelling errors in this book as well so something which ms word could have fixed uh, those errors are still there story wise i could not go beyond the fifth page simply because at that point a minor who is also probably the protagonist of the story gets raped just casually and that's where i stopped i have not finished this book because i simply could not yet this book has a prominent position on my table this is always present there whenever i am working whenever i take my eyes off my computer screen or whatever i am working on i can see this book in the first place why did i even buy this book the reason is very straightforward the author of this book is someone who i used to work with and the only reason i had initially made the purchase was for the for giving the friend the author some encouragement and that's what friends are for if i if eventually i do write some book some day i am sure at least one two three of my friends would buy my book if even if those are the only people who ever buy it so that's that so now coming back to why this book has such a prominent place on my table now this book is living with some of the best books that i have ever read those books are there because they are great and i want to revisit them frequently so every now and then i'll pick one of those books i'll go to one of the year mark chapters and i'll i'll revisit the reason this book is there on my table is purely because of the author every time i have a doubt in my mind about the work that i am doing or about something that i wanted to do but there is a little hesitation for instance this video only if any at any point of time i feel that i should not make a video because i don't have any subscribers what is the point uh, it won't be any good no one is going to watch it at that point this book gives me a lot of inspiration this book is actually someone's dream that has come true you and i might not like it but that was not the point of the book at all she the author of this book wanted to be a published writer she had a story she liked the story that she had and she wanted it to be in the form of a book she made that happen she did not care about what you and i or anyone else thought she wanted to achieve this accomplishment and she went ahead she got it self published she and not just a a soft copy or an ebook version there is a physical copy in my hand so any time i have any kind of doubts in my mind about the actions that i'm going to take i look at this book and i realize that these are the things that i do for myself and not to derive happiness or success from outside this book reminds me of the importance of having dreams and then actually following them through this book actually asks me to be the kind of person who just gets things done a uh, quick note i'm sure you have noticed i did not show the book cover i did not tell you the name of the book or the author that's by design 
purely because I want to preserve the privacy of the author. She is, after all, a friend. And considering that how critically we started this video, I really do not think that would be a good idea. For me, it's this book. I am sure you could find a lot of examples. If you find something of that sort, get it for you, bring it, take a picture if it's not possible to physically get it and put it on your table. If this book can inspire me, I am sure such things can inspire you as well. Again, I'll all close with the same message. Stay safe, stay indoors, wear a mask. We will get through these hard times. We just have to work together. Have a great day.